for your purchase from our event mock-up clip art for your PNGs. I'm going to show you how to use them for Canva. This is the Canva video, so I will show you how to use them for Canva to create a mock-up. Um, so at first, you're going to go to create a design. If you're going to create this design for an Instagram post, you can just do the 1080 by 1080. If you want to do a different size, you can do so here, custom size. I'm just going to use the Instagram post because it's much easier. So now that I have this post, I'm going to choose a... I'm just going to go to elements and I'm going to choose um, a room design. Just a blank room I'm kind of looking for. Um, so, you know, there's going to be different ones you could look for. I'm going to just try to find a blank room. Um, let me find one. Blank room. Okay, here. This is perfect. Okay, so these, some of these are pro, so you can see that if it has a little star or a little crown on it or whatever, that's a pro. If it doesn't, then you can use it, if you have pro, of course. If you don't have pro, then you would have to use a free one, which would just be this one. Um, um, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to use actually this one because I really like this one. But again, if you have a free version, you could just use the one that's R free. So I'm going to use this one because I do like this one. Now here is my background. Now I'm going to go to the file that you do have, which would be here. These would be your PNGs. Um, you can choose whichever you'd like and, you know, create your scene, your scenery. So I'm going to do, um, I think we're going to use. A simple one like this actually you know what I'm gonna actually go back and I'm gonna use this plain color one because it's just easier for the colors that I do have um, so we're gonna use this one I want just to make it easier just for to make it like a white uh, palette so I'm using this then I'm going to use a pedestal. I think I'm going to use one of these pedestals. I'm going to use three of these. So I'm dragging and dropping right into it from the file and you can see there's, you know, not really an issue. I'm going to copy and paste. You can make them as small as you want to. So some of them, you know, might be smaller in range. And then I'm going to do another one over here, though. So I do have a balloon pack that would also be available. Available. Um, I'm going to see, though, if they have any balloons that is available here. But it doesn't look like they do. So I am going to use my balloon pack um, that is avail that's available also on my website for you guys to use their PNGs for balloons um, to make a garland or anything like that uh, because I don't see that they have many balloon garland options here. Um, so I'm going to use the balloons that I do have. Give me one second. Uh, you know what? Let me just use these. I use these. Just for the purpose of the video, at least. So, so I'm going to bring these up front. Right-clicking, bring forward. I think I'm going to duplicate these a little bit. Or I'm going to kind of copy and paste. I'm going to send that backwards, send it backwards. I'm going to do the same thing. Kind of making my own balloon garland, I guess. Um, with a bunch of balloons that they do have. But like I said, I do have a balloon pack that you can definitely use. 
um, which has different balloon options and colors that you can make your own garland. So I'm gonna use that. I think that's kind of perfect. Um, I'm gonna grab some more balloons, just these blue balloons, just to add some color, more colors to it. I'm going to make these opposite like in this way. Okay. And just one more. Just right here. actually don't mind that it's back there like that behind the gold I don't mind it so I'm gonna keep it okay so let's just say um, oh wait that looks weird Okay, so now let's just say I am going to do a, usually like some of these walls will have like graphics or anything in between it and you want to put like a sign or something like that. So I'm going to do a square. Um, what I like to look up actually is square frame. And then you can see there's going to be um, frames where you can kind of just place your own design in there um where i don't see them hold on i'm gonna do a square here so these lines and shapes these these things they have little squares oh here they go these frames um so with these frames they have little just regular ones these are great things to use um so i'm going to use one here but i want to make sure that it's tilted this way right So with this, we're going to need to design something. So there's going to be two ways to do it. Either you can just add a page and then make your own design, which that's exactly what I'm going to do. Or you can just design right on here, which I think might be a little bit more complicated, especially if you're going to, you know, print this out. Since most likely you would have this designed either by yourself or from a graphic designer, you just want to design it or have it designed and then just place it there for your mock-up and play with it there. 
Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna design something, just something super simple. I'm gonna do maybe gold, flowers. Um, actually, let's say this is for like a christening. So let's do christening. Is this for christening, right? Yeah. Uh, I wanna do baby boy. Baby boy. Um, let's do baptism blue. Baptism blue. Let's see. Hopefully there's something fun or something that's good that I can use. This is a lot of... Uh, let's do blue baby shower. Okay, we can use something like here. Perfect. So this stuff is good for texture. I'm gonna just make the opacity very much lower just to have some texture on this paper. Um, what if I even wanna do all fully blue? Let me just do Gold outline is a good one to find things of. So they have like really good, nice flowers, like um, little cool shapes and stuff that you can definitely use. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use some of these. these these are cool the little honeycombs Okay, and then let me do just baby shower. I guess we'll do baby shower. Um, I already did that, I forgot. Um, let's do blue boho. Blue flowers, these are cool. It's actually really kind of cool if you like place them in here. And then kind of spray with opacity. So we're going to use some nude colors. Same thing here. You can easily do just wording now. Um, oops, this is gonna go here. I'm gonna do boho flowers. 
So for some boho flowers, I would love some blue like boho, boho flowers, but it doesn't look like there's too many options. I mean, also there could be, I'm just not going to search like forever for them. Um, but this is kind of fun. I feel like I could use this. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to just add some wording on there now. My outline. Obviously, you don't want to go for the thing that's moving. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to leave it as is. This is cool as is. I'm not going to keep going, you know, making things. You'll get the point and you'll design as you'd like to for your, you know, concept. So I'm going to now add wording. So I'm going to add some wording. I'm going to go to text. Um, yeah, now you can, they have wording that you could use or you can just make your own. So for here, I'm just going to make my own. Uh, just to make it easier, I'm going to say um, Cadence. No, it just doesn't look like a girl. Um, Kaylee's. Can you change the font title or the font that you would need? However you want to. I'm going to use this one. It's easy. Kinley's. I'm going to change to a white. Simple. Super simple. Kinley's. Uh, baby shower. We'll just do Baby shower, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Baby shower, and we're gonna make this smaller. Okay, first let me make it a different font before I make it smaller. And you choose your color, of course. I'm just going to do a darker blue, like a darker blue. And I'm going to add some effects to it just to give this one a little bit more depth in the wording. Um, Kinley, I'm also going to do the same. I'm going to add maybe like a little shadow to it. Something simple. Oops. So now that I have that, now I'm just going to screenshot it to make it easier for me. But normally what you can do or what you should do is, hold on.
So normally what you should do is share it and then download it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to screenshot it because like I said, I'm, you know, mine isn't going to be super duper perfect. It's just the concept of it. So I'm just going to screenshot it and I'm going to place my drag and drop. And now you can see when you um, put it there, it's going to just already be there. Um, now, if I want to, I think I'm going to rotate it. Should I rotate it to make it easier? Let me see. Oh, I didn't mean it to work that way. Best way to rotate it, I need to do Kinley's words. I need to make her wording just a little, oops. Let me see if I do it right this time. So it's gonna be a sideways design, so it's a little, I wanna make sure it's right, I guess. Um, and did I do it? Yeah. So now you have your design in here, and then there goes your mock-up. Um, you can add curtains, of course, if you'd like. I'm gonna zoom in. So now you have a mock-up of your design and how to use it, right? You can also do, like I said, curtains. So let's see if they have curtains. I don't know if they do. If not, you can definitely do your own. Okay, so they do have some curtains. Um, let's see how these look, really. Oh, I don't want to do it as a background, background though. So let's say we want these, if you're going to do like draping of some sort, if you want the draping to be in the back. And let's see if we can edit this image to be a different color. You don't want it to be this red. So I'm going to edit the image. Um, there's many ways to do this in, in Canva. Let's see if you can get the color you want. Sometimes you're, oh, I know it's, Unfortunately, sometimes you're not always going to get the color that you really, really want for here. Um, so I do suggest sometimes, you know, making sure, making sure that, you know, you look to see what other options you might have for your curtains, if you do have any. Um, but this one is fine. I think this is fine for what we're looking for. I might even bring the opacity back down just a tad bit. You can also change, of course, the color maybe to do let's see a contrast. You want to go like a little duller, maybe like a more lightish blue color. You do have other options, you know, you'll, you kind of play with it when you get it, you know, you'll play with the options that you do have and just go from there. Um, there, you know, Canva kind of gives you like a little bit of options. They don't give you like all of the options, like another, uh, um, programs might, 
So just be mindful of that when you are using um, Canva. I'm gonna use the other one. I like the other one better. So this is the setup that we have came up with and this will be really all you kind of do uh, for your mock-up. Of course, you can use more um, walls, you can use more things, you can literally do whatever you kind of want for here. You don't have to just stick to um, what we've done here. You know, you can literally do as you please. Hold on. Let me go back. Let's say we want this wall too. Say we also want this wall. Of course, I'm kind of uh, pulling it over to the side just so I don't have to edit anything else that I've already done. Um, I'm just kind of showing you, you know, another option, more options that you can use for these um, to play with. You know, you don't have to just do what I'm doing. You can definitely just play with how you want to um, and use those. So let's say you are using this. You can definitely use that. The reason is, it's like I, if I move it over, you know, I'm going to have to move all these pieces over. I just don't want to do that. Um, so right now this is kind of where I'm going to keep it. Okay. And then of course you can add like, you know, if you're having a cake and if you know what your cake looks like or anything of that sort, you can definitely add a cake to it, you know, add a, um, even if it's like a sketch of the cake or something of that sort, you can definitely add that on there. You know, like, if, hey, this is the cake that we're using. This is the concept. You have a cake stand. Um, you can put those on here. You can definitely look up all these options. They have a lot of options on Canva. Oops. They have a lot of options on Canva, which is pretty cool. So once you have Canva, like it's just cool kind of just to be able to use what you want. Um, obviously, I probably wouldn't. I mean, hey, if you want to use that cake in life, go ahead. I'm just kind of showing you, you know, examples and things that I do have or things that they have that you can use. Um, you don't have to use those. So let's say you want to do a cake. Um, they have some cool cakes. I wish I could find, look, they have some nice cakes. Yeah, this is perfect. Actually, this one's really cool. So let's use this one. Let's see if they have any other ones that kind of match. No, I don't think so. So we're going to use this one. I think this kind of matches pretty well. Um, or this one even. Oops. So, you know, however you choose. Of course, if you already have like a cake sketch or something from your your, your customer or, or your cake decorator, you know, that's obviously something you can use. You can also even make your own stand. So this one already has a stand. So let's, I just kind of like cut off the piece of the cake and now I'm going to use this stand and put it here. Um, so it matches and then you also can work with the height. Oops also work with the height on here and now you have this stand which looks perfect um let's say if you want to do cupcakes cupcakes you know finding whatever cupcakes you want to use and putting them on the stand whatever um really you have so many options to do whatever you'd like and then here you go with a setup of what you want to for your client. Of course, you can make these smaller. And if you have like a lot of pieces, you can do that. Um, let's see if we have any couches. I do have a, ooh, I wrote ouch. Um, let's, I do have a, I'm going to do a couch furniture piece one. Um, 
coming up soon too. I just don't know when I'm going to release it. So just check back on the website for it. Um, so I'll have like velvet couches and stuff that are popular, um, you know, for your customer or for your use or whatever the case is. But for purposes of this video, let's just say we're going to use this one. Um, and we're going to just, let's just change the color and let's try to change that to like gold. Oh, this blue might even be fine. Or maybe like a white even, maybe like a really light blue. Let's see. Whatever, you know, whatever you choose. If this is like a couch that you do have or the couch that you have from your rental company, whichever. Um, so this is the options that we do have and you could do whatever you'd like to, you know, it's up to you. So this is the Canva video. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Happy designing. Bye.